Hi, I'm Kylie Heath. I'm the Nighttime Economy Advisor for Bristol. And today we're launching a campaign as Bristol Nights that prioritises harm reduction within the nighttime economy and looks after and, and is intended to look after people um, so that they know what to do in a drugs emergency and to look after our businesses within the nighttime economy so that they can embed harm reduction strategies within to their organisations. Perfect. And what kind of strategies uh, would this campaign encompass? Uh, the kind of strategies that this encompasses really is to move away from um, the outdated view of zero tolerance. Zero tolerance doesn't enable us to have an open conversation about the fact that um, harms are caused by alcohol and other substances. Um, uh, harm reduction enables us to have that open conversation with our audiences um, and to build trust both between the venues and the licensing authority and the police and that, but also between um, our audiences and the venues themselves. We want people to come forward if they're not feeling very well and if they think that they're going to get in trouble for that, then harm reduction creates um, harm reduction creates that conversation that enables us to do it. Whereas zero tolerance doesn't enable that to happen. Mm -hmm. exactly. And what will this campaign look like in, in you know, bars and bellers and the people attending those bars and venues? Uh, so it's a two-pronged approach. Um, one part of it is to actually give the toolkit to venues so that they can do the work of harm reduction within their organisations and create a harm reduction policy that's right for their particular environment. The second part of it is a public facing campaign which is just really signposting people to where they can get help, where they can get more information about alcohol and other substances um, and it's in, in the way in which we love to do things at Bristol Nights it's really pretty eye-catching visual and looks like it belongs on the wall of a club. And this, I believe, will be the first of its kind, of its kind uh, in the UK, in Bristol. Um, why Bristol? Why do you think Bristol needs this? Um, this so harm reduction is a growing movement and has been for a long time. Uh, within this city, we have a drug and alcohol policy at Bristol City Council that speaks to harm reduction. Our universities have harm reduction in their policies. Our licensing department want people to put harm reduction within their within their venues although there is a bit of a legacy of zero tolerance, um, but we haven't once all stood around the same table and said, this is what we want for the city. So we're the first city to be doing this. We're the first city to be really transparently saying that harm reduction is our direction that we want to be going in. And here is how we have this conversation in the public realm. Brilliant. Are we able to talk a little bit about um, the role that Luke will be playing as part of this campaign as well? Uh, yeah, harm reduction is not up just for, up, just up to one agency to be able to deal with it. It has to be like a multi multi partner approach. Uh, we're very fortunate that in Bristol we are the first city to be able to uh, be awarded a license for drugs checking agency, the Loop. They will be coming into Bristol next year. Um, and what the Loop do is it enables people to go and check their substances, that so that they actually know what's within those substances that they might then be taking on a night out or in their own homes. Um, the loop also are the first point of conversation that people often have with a drug specialist. So from a public health perspective, when you've got people taking unknown substances um, and they don't know the risks and they don't know how that, that might then play within their own bodily system, um, the loop enables us to have that conversation and to do it in a safe, non-judgmental environment. And just finally, um, what positive impacts will this have on the city and the people? Mm. The positive impact that I think it will have on this city um, is enables to enable us to have an honest conversation around the fact that alcohol and other substances um, have risks of harms and how being able to do that. But also we want people to know what to do in an emergency, what the symptoms of a drug emergency look like. And that is one of the um, assets that we're, we're delivering to venues across the city is to make sure that they can recognise the symptoms of a drug-related emergency and, and hopefully reduce those risks of harm.